Hello guys, um, I'm going to show you how to build a tribute page. This is actually the, f the first project in uh, Free Code Camp for responsive web design project. So here in this project, we're going to use HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. And here is the step-by-step uh, -step procedure in how to build a very basic tribute page. So I've already opened my CodePen.io uh, account. So let's start. So for user story number one, it says, my tribute page should have an element with a corresponding ID that has a value of main, this one, which contains all other elements. So it should be div ID main all right move forward user story number two it says i should see an element with the corresponding id with the title with the value of title which con contains a string for example text that, that describes the subject of the tribute page so for in this example i am going to build a tribute page for naruto so um okay Let's use an element h the element h1 for this one. ID title Naruto. Ah, let's actually use the full name of Naruto. So Naruto. So Naruto is my most favorite car um, manga character. close all right move forward user story number three it says here i should see a div element all right div element with a corresponding id that has a value of ing dash div right so it says div element with um id ing dash div. Am I right? ing All right, move forward. Your user story number four, it says here within the ing div element, I should see an, Im an ing element with a corresponding I id that is a value of image. So the element is img and id value of image, right? So I've already chosen a photo of Uzumaki Naruto, so we're going to use this one. Embed the link. All right, and then close the IMG element. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. Move forward, user story number five. It says here within the IMG div element, I should see an element with a corresponding ID that is a value of IMG dash caption that contains textual content describing the image shown in IMG dash div okay so for this one i'm going to use an element of h3 yeah i think that would be that would be enough h3 id sorry Sorry, ID IMG caption. All right. So our caption should be seventh. Since Naruto is the seventh Hokage, so I'm going to put a caption seventh Hokage.
All right, that's perfect. Let's move forward. User story number six. I should see an element with the corresponding ID that has a value of tribute dash info, which contains textual content describing the subject of the tribute page. So this should be a paragraph element. ID trib tribute info Am I right? Okay. So I'm going to use this um, info from Wikipedia. Oops. I'm just gonna copy and then paste. So, uh, in between the paragraphs, remember that we're going to put br in here um, to separate the first paragraph from second paragraph, so on and so forth. And then here also. Yeah, I think that's... Let's just use the first three paragraphs. So that, would be, that would be enough. What? Okay, good. Move forward, user story number seven. So it says in here, I should see an A element, an A element with a corresponding ID that has a value of tribute dash link, which links to an outside site that contains additional information about the subject of the tribute page. So in this case, I'm using Wikipedia. So we're going to lead, I mean, we're going to um, use the Wikipedia page for this, for this um, information, for more information rather. So let's. Do that one, A element, do the ID, uh, ID and then tribute link, right? Tribute link and then what else it says in here? Uh, hint, you must give your element an attribute of target and set it to underscore blank in order for your link to open in a new tab all right so it will be target wait target and then underscore oh wait blank oh i miss this all right target blank i think this is enough yeah Okay. And then we're gonna the text should be click more. All right. Click for more info. Click for more info. And then close the element, the A element. And then that's it. So let's double check. Okay, so number user story number seven is done. User story number eight, the IMG element should responsively resize relative to the width of its parent element without exceeding its original size so this is going to be a css in here and then user story number nine the img element should be centered within its parent element so this is again we're gonna um do this in css so let's start so body it says there that it should be centered. It's here, center. Ah, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, it should be, I think, text align. Center. Oh, yeah. There you go. It's centered. So, let's... Okay, the image that I've used is, I know it's huge, we're gonna 
I'll work on that later. So, I think that's it. I wanna use a font of font family. Um, I'm gonna use Arial for this one. Arial block for for the title and what's that again? The I'm gonna use Arial block for the title and the IMG caption. I wanna keep it simple, really simple. Okay, we're done. So user story number eight is done. IMG element should be responded to resize. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, so the image, we have to resize the image. Okay. Did we? So, since it says that it should be responsively resized relative to the width of its parent element so it, it should be max with 100 percent yeah and then height let's let's try 250 pixels let's see okay. that looks good i think it's better what do you think Okay, let's try 200. I think that's much better. Let's just try 150. Mm, I think it's too small. 175. 175 pixels. I think I'm gonna go back to 200. It, it is cool. Yeah, I have used that. So, um, I'm going to um, shave off the edges of this um, image just a little bit. So, I'm going to use border radius. I'm just going to adjust the border radius of this. Maybe, let's try 50%. Let's just try 50%. I don't like that one. So let's try 75%. Um, I don't like it. Let's see, um, 90%. Oh, I don't like it. 20%. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. So I want this. Uh, one more. Let's try 15%. Alright, let's try um hmm. 45 45 i don't like it i think let's let's use 15 or 20. yeah that would do okay so okay we are done with user story number eight we have um accomplished the IMG element responsive dis, uh, responsively resize relative to the width without exceeding its original size. So that's done. User story number nine says the the IMG element should be centered within its parent element. So let's we have already made that one. So I just want to style my other elements like the h3 the paragraph so for the paragraph um i want i don't want to use area black for the paragraph just plain area family hey, sorry area yeah that's more readable and then text align I want to use justify for this one oh yeah that's cool what else I think this is okay yeah that's that's fine for me 
for you. Um, I think I'm gonna stick with my H3, that's fine. Let's just make this a very simple one. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry, I forgot the link in here for the target. I for the. Was that user story number seven? I forgot the link. The um, Wikipedia. So we're gonna do that in here. I'm sorry. href equals. So I forgot. Then and then paste. So let's see if it shows there. Oh yeah, it's here. All right. So let's put some styling. I let's change the color. For the font, I'm gonna use plain Arial for this one, and then let's change the color to red. Okay, I think that's and let's make it yellow or orange, since Naruto's uniform is orange. I'm gonna use orange. Yeah, that's cooler. So yeah, that's it. Um, we have we have accomplished um, every step, I guess. Yes. So I'm gonna show you in full screen. Oh, forgot to make a title. So let's put a title on this tribute page for page of Naruto and then click save. Okay, full page view. Yeah, I think this is very simple, but it's just plain and simple. But we have um, followed every user story that we should follow. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, So for the next project, I'm also going to post it in here in my YouTube channel. So please watch it. Bye.